Live from the studio at the Northwest Florida School of Biblical Studies, this is Have a Bible Question, where you are part of the program. Now, let's go to the Bible for answers to your Bible questions. There's a, a question, not a question, but a, he brought up something, all right? Uh, I, I read from the King James Version, and um, I, I love to, to watch him just kind of squ squirm over there. Did you notice that, Jeff? I mean, um, Troy, uh, second, uh, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 8. But if ye be without chastisement, where, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, he was hesitant to say that. I, I appreciate that. You know that you're hesitant to say that, but um, you know in Scripture mm -hmm. there are words like that that are used. And I want to be clear. I just want to throw this out there. That's not profanity when right. we use that. Mm -hmm. That is a word that was used to describe an illegitimate child right. back in the day. Just like right. donkey has other words that you know. If you go back and talk about Balaam's donkey. Sometimes King James Version is going to translate that, you know, differently. And right. I'm just not going to use it right now <laughs> because it just doesn't feel right to be able to say that. Yeah. Um, because what makes profanity profanity? This is a discussion that's asked me was asked to me some time time back because um, I had a I had a police officer friend of mine. We were sitting. Uh, I worked night shift, and we were sitting normally about three o'clock at the um, TA truck stop. And he would say, what makes a word wrong? And I remember because when we'd go sit down at the truck stop, we'd always sit down at the table. First thing we'd do, we had our, our mic with a uh, radio with a collar mic. And we'd, first thing I'd do, we'd take that off, set it on the table. Uh, we didn't want it on us while we were sitting there on the table. They were sitting there. And he said, well, what makes this this word wrong? But what, what am I? And, and he said, what, what if I say radio offends me? Now that's a cuss word. I said, well, in theory, in time, could we turn radio into a bad word? Maybe we could. But it really made me think about what makes profanity in certain words sinful. Mm -hmm. I have an answer and an example. All right. Bring it on. Because I, I had an answer for him, and I bet you it's the same one. <laughs> Probably yeah, but, so. No, go ahead. Because I, so I, the yeah. first thing that I thought of was an example that happened to me when it's first when that dawned on me as well. When I was down in Paraguay, we had these young boys. They, they were homeless kids or street kids, and they would come and sleep underneath our carport. And they started bringing their drugs and stuff after a while. So we would have to try to move them out of there. And one time I was moving them out, and, you know, I was speaking to them in Spanish. And I said, you guys, in Spanish, you're, you're going to have to leave. You know, you can't stay here. And this one boy got really upset and started cursing me out. But he started cursing me out in the their other language, and that's Guarani. Okay. And and I just looked at him and smiled, and he got more mad because I was just smiling and did nothing. And I said, I said to him in Spanish, I said, "Your words mean nothing to me because I don't know what they are." <laughs> yeah. Right. And so yeah. to I use that as an example to answer your question, Guy. And, and what makes a word a curse word? I believe mm -hmm. the way it becomes a curse word is culture and connotation. Mm -hmm. uh, those are the two things I think what's what makes a word a word because we've taken words you mentioned a minute ago words that were in there well there's words that were innocent that now mean something totally different than they and did to before. read from it's not wrong mm -hmm. I mean if if you're gonna say hey use yeah. King James version then use King James version I mean uh, is what I say but but it's culturally, and that's one thing I like about some of the newer translations, they get rid of some of that out of there. Yeah, the new King James says illegitimate. It doesn't even use that word. It just says illegitimate. Yeah, you know, and, and donkey. And normally I translate it myself whenever I'm using that. <laughs> but but I, but what I want to say, too, though, there's a second part of that. Yes, culture is what makes the word because of the intention and the way it was used. It's the mm -hmm. heart behind the word. Yeah, right? that goes back to yeah. connotation. Yeah, the mm -hmm. connotation. It's the heart behind it when you're using it to call somebody a name and that's not what they are. I mean, yeah. you know, God called in the Old Testament, called them a harlots. I mean, he, he just told you played the the you role of the a harlot. prostitute, of, mm -hmm. the har of a harlot. And, and those words, if we translate them today. You keep translating them, there's some bad words in there. Oh, yeah. man, that, that'd be harsh. Right. And I think we got to go to Ephesians 4.29. 
Uh, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. You know, <laughs> Jeff earlier was not cussing. I didn't cuss by reading that scripture. Right. We were using the scriptures, using a translation that we use. It's there, and it's like, oh, I normally don't say that word. You know, it, it, normally we don't because we right. try and make sure. This, Five shades of red. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like that G movie just turned PG. <laughs> you said that word. Yeah. Hey, listen, <laughs> but I'll take it one step yeah. further. There are also words yeah. that may be culturally accepted that are not really considered curse words among a society mm -hmm. that are curse words to right. Christians. For example, uh, OMG. Oh yeah. And even the, the letters OMG. Right. Because you're taking the Lord's name in vain. And I know that's an old Testament principle, but respect God. And don't be flippant yeah, with as it. a byword, basically. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You know, well, how about, um, Ephesians five verse three? Nope. Verse four, neither. Well, no, let's go back to verse three. <laughs> uh, let it not be once named among you as become the saints, neither filthiness nor foolish talking nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather giving of things. You know, I'm stepping on some toes of a lot of people here tonight, aren't I? Uh, because, I mean, we need to be careful. You know, yeah. a great example of this, um, there's a brother in Christ who, uh, he's my next door neighbor. Uh, he rides bikes, he races them. And he was in a race and he was going down the road and he hit a bad pothole and he fell off his bike and he tumbled and everything. Well, he had everything on a GoPro on a camera and you see the <laughs> red guy. It's, it's, it's a cool video, but he falls and he just goes, <laughs> it's a cool video that he was getting hurt. <laughs> he's okay, okay. Everything's good. He falls and he just goes, Oh, oh and he's like, Oh, Oh, and he gets up and he's like, man. And, and then he gets his bike together and then, and then he takes off. You know what one of the comments was on, on his little YouTube video? Wow, you did that without even a curse word. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what a great example, yeah. right? What yeah. a great mm -hmm. example because that's usually when these curse words come out and stuff like that. Uh, right. And the question we always get asked is, what if it slips out? And I always said, well, if it's not in there to begin with, it can't slip out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but now, right. going back to what you said about Christians, what, what can be cuss words to one, we need to be careful. Matthew 7, 1, judge not that you be not judged. There was an old phrase that we used for ages. I'm not even going to say it, but we never thought anything ill of it. Not, and somebody says, well, that was changed around, and it actually means this. Uh, that's debatable. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I, I, I'll tell you later. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, no, that didn't mean that to me. You, you know, uh, th that's not how I used it. And, you know, and we, and we can get, it can almost get, silly sometimes with some of the euphemisms that people was be like well uh, okay. yeah and and no um be careful you know because uh <laughs> uh there's nothing wrong with the word fudge but think about the christmas story you know and how that they use that word on there you know and you know if the heart behind a person is is what it is and let's be careful that we don't stretch it to the point that we can't hardly say anything I remember I was given a list of euphemisms that was like two pages long. And I was like, I've said that. And that's not what I meant. <laughs> no, that's not. I can't tell you how many times I have said <laughs> I've used a word that I thought was innocent. And my wife, oh, don't, you shouldn't be saying that. <laughs> oh, I said one the other day and, um, I, I'm not dare repeating it now, but I said it a bunch before, and my <laughs> wife was like, do you know what that means? I was like, yeah, it just means this. She said, no, that's not what it means. And we had to we had to have a debate about it, and we looked it up, and she was right. I was wrong. Go, yeah, yeah listen, <laughs> you know, that's the thing. Listen, Christians, right. those of you listening to this program who are trying to follow Christ, you need to be careful with the right. acronyms and the different phrases and catchphrases and stuff like that because – Listen, there's there's a really famous one that's out right now that's all over the airways that uh, I'll just say it Cardi B. Oh, uh, and that is ridiculous. I mean, if people and you see that people using that acronym as if it's some kind of funny thing, and I've seen Christians, you know, not fortunately nobody I know in in our congregation, but I've seen Christians using that, and it's and and, and other acronyms not realizing that those are those are really really bad yeah, yeah. some of some of them just just always, always be careful with acronyms right. um 
but I still want to throw that caveat. It, it, be careful being judgmental of others. You know, yeah. give them the benefit of the doubt. We, it, How about call them up and go, hey, brother, I love you, but do you know what that means? <laughs> yeah, if you want to tell me what that means, you know, and, and, and it's like, oh, that is what that means. You know, uh, th- there's some things I try and keep from saying, but, you know, it, it's th- there's some words that I used when I was in law enforcement that I was known for not using profanity. See, I that's actually, a good thing. I, it, You know, mm-hmm. but, but being around them, are there some words that I would use that, I'm trying to think of examples um, because I don't want to offend somebody that's watching this, the show, but in and of themselves, was it a bad word? You know, you know, it, it, nobody's going to get mad if I say, well, oh, do do on here. You know, it, they're not going to get mad if I said that, but, but somebody would be coming along. Well, what he wanted to say was, no, if I wanted to say something else, I would have said something else. Be careful of the judging because, you know, I remember my dad giving me the story. They came up with the word pickle. They would say, oh, pickle. Well, is that wrong because you wanted to say something else? You know, <laughs> you have to use some reason here. But yeah. what what makes it, I think, what you said, you said um, two things. Connotation and culture. Yeah, mm-hmm. you had two C's for it. Connotation and culture. Mm-hmm. Very Connotation much so. and culture makes a cuss, cuss word. <laughs> right. Hey, we need to come up with a meme for that, you know. But, but I think that really um, – I think you really uh, hit the nail that that encompasses it, you know, because a word that we don't even think about being bad here, you go overseas, you may find out that you were saying, um, in fact, in military, <laughs> they actually will train you before you go overseas what customs are, yeah, mm-hmm. what that culture is, so that you don't go do something offensive. Uh, same right. way with hand yeah. gestures, you know. Oh, yeah. For example, yeah. this, where's the camera? This hand gesture right here. Okay. You know, we do that all the time right here. That means okay. Well, you don't do that in Brazil. Okay. Oh, really? <laughs> That's not good in Brazil. And if you do that in Paraguay, they're going to give you a coin. And so it just, you know, the culture makes a difference. So. Right. Uh, who's the guy that watches from Brazil? Uh, well, he's actually Paraguayan, and he totally understands because he understands. I'll say, I'm sorry. American um, culture. I can't save us, Sebastian. Save us. I'm sorry for what he just did <laughs> on the show. <laughs> he was doing that in American, not Brazilian. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. American sign. <laughs> right. But no, I mean, that's a good point because sometimes it, it, that goes back to connotation, the, the heart right. behind what you're trying to do. Culture and connotation, yep. Oh mm-hmm. man, so good. That's but right. uh, but that is a question that gets asked to me a lot. You it's know, good 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 topic to talk about. 